Hey, welcome in this manifestation and relaxation podcast. I'm Monica Furman. Nice to have you here. Today I'd like to share with you my tools, my tips on how to hold yourself through hard times, through heavy times, through times when you are judgmental about yourself and others, to times when you are feeling like the whole world is against you, um, the time when you don't really know what to do to feel better. And I have tools that help help me personally on a daily basis to correct that, to balance that, to center myself. One of the biggest tools I, uh, I would like to share with you is a deep breathing. Um, because ultimately, uh, when we connect to our breath, we connect to our source, we connect to our essence uh, that is directing that breath, that is um, orchestrating it, that is actually breathing through us. We are not the one that is breathing, we are being breathed into. And that's something that is such a powerful, yet free and easy um, tool that we can use every day at any given moment in time and space, wherever we are. And we can tap into connection and give it attention. Give attention to your connection with source, which is your deep, beautiful breath. That's one of the biggest tools that I have in my arsenal, daily arsenal. Whenever you connect to your breath, all the anxiety, the fear from the future, and the anxiety from the past or the opposite, the anxiety of the future and fear from the past, it doesn't have space to exist. It just doesn't have space to breathe into you because you are connecting to the calmness, to the universal energy that is around you and that is within you and with that what i can say also is that sometimes we can uh, forget that we even breathe because this is our natural automatic uh, body function so since it's automatic and we have the awareness that we can enter that and we can control that with that we can control our nervous system response as well since the breath is indication of what is happening within our mindset within our emotions and when we connect to the breath and we alter it and we change it consciously change the pattern change the time of the inhale and the exhale change the way we inhale and exhale change the position of our body with in which we breathe this way we can alter from the outside to the inside, we can alter our nervous system. But it's also from the inside to the inside, because the breath is also inside, right? Um, just wanted to clear what I mean here by saying from the outside to the inside, I mean that by altering and controlling our breath, we can control our nervous system. And I feel like repetition is the key to mastery. So I'm going to repeat some things that I really want you to remember during 
the sessions here. And when we breathe slowly, when we give ourselves a few moments more to breathe in and breathe out, that's when the nervous system starts to calm down together with you, together with your breath. Because we are sending the signal to our brain, to our nervous system, that we are safe. That there is no danger, we are safe. We have security, we are protected. And that we have certainty about this moment. And it's essentially, essentially it's all that we can have certainty about, right? about this moment so the more we connect to this moment the more we connect to the breath the more we allow ourselves to control it for our good for our favor right to feel better to feel more balanced, to feel more healthy, to feel more relaxed, to have better sleep, to have better digestion, to have better recovery, to have more energy, right? Because everything is connected. To have more energy, we must relax more. And since we know that breath work is so powerful we can find different ways during the day different ways and times for our life to make it better with this simple practice with this simple consciousness of our breath even just being conscious about it allows the monkey mind to stop allows our thoughts to be more focused and clear especially when we are working on something creative when i paint for example i'm just looking at my painting on the wall when i paint or draw or do something creative i connect to my breathing pattern i slow it down i feel it deeply and this way I'm 100% mind, body, and mentally dedicated to what is happening. And I open the portal for the God to come through me and create through me and heal me. It's okay to focus on yourself on being right now in this moment and giving yourself permission to just be we are human beings not human doings i love this saying because this is something so many people can relate to this is something that so many people cannot relate to right because <laughs> we are um in this day and age where we are constantly in fear of missing out in fear of not receiving things that we dream about or to wanting more and more and feeling never satisfied with what we have and not appreciating where we are and not appreciating where we are going like we don't find this enjoyment of the journey being a destination anymore that's how the society has been programmed to to work to develop because that is capitalistic way also of growth which i don't say it's completely wrong but there is a toxic energy that unfortunately keeps us constantly 
in this satisfaction of reality and we constantly are seeking more and better which I also don't say <laughs> that is totally wrong but if there is a toxic constant craving there is no space for gratitude there is no space for life for living there is no space for enjoying where we are and what we have if we are constantly seeking and constantly trying to fix and find different better things and aspects in our life so balancing this out is so important especially if we want to manifest and if you want to manifest the life that we love living so we don't really feel like we need to manifest so much like we can just be and enjoy the experience that we are having because when you look at life and you think that we are going to spend our life constantly looking for something that we don't have that sounds like a really waste of a lot of beautiful things that we could experience instead right? I think everyone can agree that when we are constantly on a lookout for something so then we are constantly missing out on this present moment some people think this is the way to manifest as well um, like giving yourself constantly something to focus on in the future but what does it imply to the universe when we do that when we constantly obsess with manifesting techniques writing things down constantly and trying to make something happen what does it give out what kind of energy what kind of message it sends right it sends the message of you not having it and what is the way to manifest <laughs> is to feel how we would feel if that wish would be fulfilled which means chill the fuck out and allow yourself to receive and be in the state of gratitude for already having it and that was one of the blocks and for me personally manifestation blocks that I had manifestation tools or ways of manifesting that I've overlooked myself so I'm going to speak from experience all the time with all of the things I'm saying because I want to make sure that what I send out what I channel to you is tested and it's true and something that you can apply and you can trust me when I gave you new knowledge. It's very important to me to be honestly uh, confident about what I'm saying. Otherwise, I would feel like this is a waste of time for me to record and give out any type of messages out. So going back to what I was saying is manifesting needs to be balanced with all of the feelings of us already enjoying the manifestation. 
then we can see it in the outside world because we are basically tuning in like a radio wave to the frequency of that thing that aspect of our life that we want to improve and when we are feeling it that's when we are on the shortest way to seeing it in our life so I guess concluding everything I said connect your breath daily to the present moment give yourself a chance of just being and feeling everything that you wanted to manifest and remember to always always focus on gratitude for what you have where you are to enjoy all of the things you worked on so hard already to have and make sure to feel as you already have your wish fulfilled and by saying that I'm gonna also thank you for listening to this part one of the episode with helpful tools to help you relax and breathe through the hard times hope to see you again the next episode and I wish you all the best peace love lots of blessings your way